So the first project that we did was we had to um, draw our name and then do a bunch of like crazy designs around the letters. And you, they had to still be able to see the letters, but you had to do cool designs and stuff. And so this is what mine looked like. There's the J, the A, the M, the I, and right there is the E. And I like how it turned out. My first projects usually are the ones I'm stressing out about the most because this I don't really like it when we do nothing that doesn't have color to it. You know, like the next three projects that we did, I loved them because we did actual colors and stuff. Um, but it's kind of hard because like these are so easy to do because there's no color and they're small. And like I love doing giant things that are huge and have bunch of color in them, but they take so long to do, which is why I got backed up and wasn't able to complete the fifth project, but I didn't put my name on it, so that didn't take away from my grade at all. <laughs> so it was funny. And I got, um, if you can see it, I got an A on that. So I was pretty happy about that. And then, okay, next project, this is not our second project, this is our third project, but I, I, the two last things are like the biggest things in here, so I want to show those last because they look really good. Um, this was all about like blending colors, because like basically we took all the areas that were white and we made little designs in them and then we took colored pencils and we colored two colors okay if like the shapes cross they had to cross somewhere and you had to have two colors that would make one color so you take blue and red and it would make purple wherever the um, shapes intersect and then if you took Blue and yellow would be green, red and yellow would be orange, and then so on and so forth. And so, this is what mine looks like. You can see that. It's kind of hard because the screen is so, like, not high quality at all. And so, this I did, like, weird checkerboard thing. And then here I did, like, I, I like this one. And then I just did stripes. And then zigzag. And then just like little dots. I probably should have put two up here and like one up here in the middle or something. But I don't know. I like it. And I got an A plus on it anyways. Right there. So it was worth it. Um, not being so very creative with the designs and stuff. I think is best this or that. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Like this is my one of my favorites. The last two are my favorites. Don't get me wrong, the first two are awesome, but I don't like them as much because we didn't get to really show ourselves in it. Okay, this project we had to choose an image and we had to cut it into four areas. In one area you would use marker, the next area you'd use colored pencil, the next area would be crown, which I very much, very much chickened out on. And the fourth one you could do pastels or watercolor depending on how much time you wanted to take on it. Now in the crown section I really was a cheapskate on this because I didn't really color it all that much. I was like rushing so much because I wanted to get it done. And I wanted to move on to the next thing, you know? Because you only have a limited time to work on these things. Like you have two weeks to work on these. And depending on what your picture is, you're going to have a lot of space that's just, you know, one color. And then a bunch of different colors. And so, anyways, I did Knee and Cat. I did neon cut, and it looks a lot better in person because a lot of the colors are coming off like orange and stuff. 
I don't know why. I was so annoyed because she had to staple these, and like one of the staples ripped the paper. Um, but yeah, I like the way she looks the best because she actually really looks virtual, and the rainbow looks cool too. I forgot her tail though, but yeah. And then yeah, if you can see that little corner right there, that may not blend very well, but that's because I took so much time just trying to make it look good with the pink. And that was like the very best I could do. And where is the grade on this thing? Oh, there it is. Okay. And I got an A plus on this too. Right there. And then, okay. The last project that we did um, was a collage and mine's on laminate because one I didn't want to take this home and have all the papers crumple up and two I liked it anyways and I might hang this up on my wall if I can get some sticky tack or tape or something um there's a story behind this and it's gonna look a little weird because we had to use like different things so like a part of her hair is like waffles and the rest of it is actual hair and there's like a, just a bunch of things in it that you're probably not going to understand unless I explain it to you. And I actually gave it, gave it a name. And it's called the Modern Day Scream. And you'll understand why when you see it. Okay. Here's my thing. Okay. This part. Sorry, it's going to glare. This part right here was like a really cheesy model photo. Then all this right here was like, um... An Easter page. This was a crossword right there. That was a dresser. And then this little part up here I didn't even do anything with just because it ran out. And I didn't want to have like just random pattern right there just for a small area. And then this, okay, if you can't see it, um, this right here, like the colors, this was also like from a like weird furniture setup. And then this right here was some of a bowl of popcorn. This little sign that says open wide was from a subway ad. I'm pretty sure this was from a modeling page too. And then all the rest of it was just from different pages and stuff. Okay. So the girl right here, her eye is cut out. And it's kind of hard to see because I use like pink and stuff for the blood because I couldn't find red anywhere at the time. And so here's like a nursey type person or like someone who looks really creepy or like whatever she it is like probably like the nurse or the doctor or something and she's holding that medicine right there and so it says open wide and then her mouth is open wide if you understand what i'm trying to achieve with this um i liked it just because it okay this totally represents me in a way because it's like it's totally just random you know by the way she does have another eye it just i didn't put any magazine on it because I don't know I just feel like the other eye was ruined plus it was covered around with like skin tone colored paper and stuff and I got an A plus on this too so I think I got an A on everything but the name which it was my first project so I kind of didn't really do my very 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 best on it because what because like the fur out of the first week some people were already done with it so basically she would announce the next project that we were doing and instead of thinking about getting my first project done I started thinking about what I was going to do for the next project and for the first time the first idea look first idea that I had I basically was going to do like a bunch of things from Starbucks and the whole Starbucks logo. But, um, I am not that talented at the point where I could draw the Starbucks logo right now. So I decided to do something easier and something I could draw. Which ended up turning out pretty well, I guess. Like, I really could do better on that because I... I wish I would have drawn the tail, but I wasn't thinking about it, and I wasn't looking at it. 
thing I was worrying about the most was having all the colors blend and actually look the way they should. Um, and then this, this took me forever. And the next project we would have done was we would have took in a photo and we would have taped, like, we would have colored it, cut a cube out of it, then cut smaller cubes, and then glue them all onto a separate piece of paper, and then enlarge in that image. And I was almost, like, I had done, like, a good five squares for that, and the entire thing was, like, I'm pretty sure it was like nine squares and all. And I had already done like five, so I had four left to do. So it was sort of depressing not even getting able to do that, but. What ifs? Plus, next year I'm taking art fundamentals, anyways. I'm hoping they'll help me know how. They'll help me learn how to draw people and stuff, because it's like seriously just getting on my nerves. With the whole, like, I can't draw people that well. You know, I still draw them the way I used to. Like, the whole, um, neck, head, and stuff. I'm just better at drawing the from right here up. I can't really draw arms that well. Because if I do draw arms, they either look way too skinny or way, way too fat, you know? So, yeah. And, okay add on to this um because this is like this what i'm about to talk about is not big enough for an entire like video actually no i'm not going to talk about that i'm going to talk about that in the fall when i do get it it's basically being about my schedule and crap even though it's not totally interesting but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it that thumbs up and if you would like to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe. Um, and if you have any video suggestions for me, please comment, comment down below. And I will see you guys sometime. Probably tomorrow, maybe. Because it's my last day. And stuff. And then potentially, maybe not tomorrow, just whenever open for it. Um, but yeah. Bye guys!